Hello everyone, uh, just going to do a video on basically uh, how I'm going to keep myself fit uh, whilst I'm studying. So, um, yeah, the first thing I do, fuck, where's my brain gone? Right, I just go from my routine because I know in my head I just can't explain it. At 7 o'clock in the morning I wake up every morning uh, to prepare myself to uh, study. So I wake up at 7am, procrastinate for 5 minutes, uh, put my alarm on so that it goes off at 10 past 7, get ready to fall back asleep at about 6 or 7 minutes past 7. As I'm nearly falling asleep my alarm goes off the second time, I wake up decide fuck I'm going to have to get up. Get up and at about 12 minutes past 7. I get out of uh, this bedroom and I go here to this room which is just yeah just a room for washing clothes and a room for doing dishes and basically what I do every morning to sort of keep myself in shape is do a little bit of martial arts a little bit of kickboxing you know that kind of shit but I don't I don't do it so fast I do do about 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so you know just slow just a few movements you know let's see this movement here and then I think about like you know where someone's gonna hit me from from here so maybe someone will come from the side there so I've got to turn in on them so there there I've got to turn in on them and then depending on uh, let's let's imagine they hit me with their right arm and I've turned in on them they're gonna be over here yeah so I'm gonna punch in yeah, so I sort of, but I sort of do that slowly, and it's kind of just, you know, just nice way to warm up the body, get the muscles working a little bit, that kind of thing. You know, it's good. It's good for me. Yeah, I do that for about 20 minutes, you know, slowly, because, yeah, it, it kind of gets me warmed up. And then for about five minutes or so, I do like uh, very fast, repetitive boxing, some cardio, you know, for five minutes, just like that. Yeah, really, really quickly. Then, you know, obviously, I'm pretty fucking tired after that. I chill out for about five minutes, something like that, you know. I still do a little bit of exercise. I still sort of sit here, do a pressure upon the washing machine, uh, you know, do some squats or something, but very slow, you know. Because I'd be breathing heavily, I'd be more like... <sighs> yeah. And then after the five minutes of recovery or so, I'll do, uh, you know, I'll do just slow movements. Make it up, do some fake dance moves kind of thing. Just any movement, yeah? Just to get my muscles basically moving. And for about five or ten minutes, I do some press-ups. I do some sit-ups and then that's probably about 50 minutes an hour that I managed to waste doing that and that keeps me you know relatively fit or it should do we'll see uh, well I'll see the results in a bit then you know I do the rest of my stuff I have my breakfast that kind of stuff I uh, study a bit then I have a wash and I study a bit more and then I have a break period. You know, every hour or hour and 15 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes, I'll have a break of 10 to 15 minutes. Now, whilst I'm having my break, I'm either eating, or what I am doing is that I'll leave here, I'll go for a walk for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever, yeah? And that, that keeps me fit. That 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it seems like nothing. You know, it seems like, oh, it's 10, 15 minutes, what's it gonna change? But I do that about three times a day, yeah? That ends up being 45 minutes of exercise. And all I'm doing is walking up and down the street. It seems like, you know, nothing. Because basically, it, it is nothing. It's 15 minutes at a time. It adds up to 45 minutes of exercise. Now, you know, I do my sort of hour, maybe 15, minute, 15 minutes or whatever in the morning. And getting an hour and 35 minutes exercise out of that, yeah? I finish uh, my studying, I don't know, about half eight, you know, I make, I make my dinner or whatever in between and I end up doing probably nine hours, ten hours a day, something like that, or maybe eight and a half hours if I'm cooking. Sometimes my girlfriend will cook, 
girlfriend cooks uh, two out of three times uh, the dinner before she leaves. Very nice of her to do. She don't have to do that, you know, she's not my slave. Uh, but, you know, I do cook sometimes. And, yeah, I finish, as I say, at half eight. And then at half eight, you know, I go for a walk. I reflect on uh, basically what I'm doing. If I feel up for it, I'm probably going to make a video every night. I might not upload them every night. I might upload one or them every uh, week or something. I might end up doing two videos some nights. I might end up uploading bloody 15 freaking videos every week on the weekends. Confuse the shit out of everyone who's subscribing. But yeah, after you know, after an hour or so, I, I go to my girlfriend's place of work and I pick her up from work and that's really nice. Now we come back here and sometimes we have some tea, sometimes we have a cup of tea. We end up here about 10 o'clock, 10 past 10. Uh, and then we do yoga for about half an hour. Um, and yeah, and then we go to bed. We do our adult things sometimes. Sometimes we just watch a movie before sleep. And yeah, obviously, you know, we I only get like six hours sleep. We fall asleep at about 1 a.m. Uh, but I end up doing about, yeah, about two hours exercise. Let's see, one hour plus 45, no, 50 minutes plus 45, one hour 35. 30 minutes yoga more or less it's about two hours of exercise a day yeah and the reason I do yoga and I di uh, as my uh, like main thing of exercise in the night is because it stretches all my muscles from the day and it adds you know to my flexibility because I'm going to be you know sat here you know on the computer searching or I'm going to be sat in a bed laid down it's not good for my muscles and then my back and that's why I do yoga on the nights uh, now if you're reading something on the internet that doesn't require a massive amount of concentration and all you've got to do is sort of scroll with one arm and click, as you're reading it, you could have, hypothetically, a weight, you know, like a one kilo weight, a three kilo weight, and lift it slowly, you know, as you're, as you're, as you're reading, yeah? And then, uh, you know, when you're done with this arm and you've done all your clicking on this one, change arms and with, with, with your non-main arm, I don't know how you say it, non-dominant hand, you know, move the mouse and read your article and work on the other arm. You know, if you could do that, that'll probably add an average of 15 minutes more and you get a bit of muscle from it, you know. So, as crazy as it is, there are ways to stay fit while you're studying and this is my way of doing it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and yeah, hopefully see you on our next video.